the power of understanding the power of understanding Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 quickly Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him somebody shall wisdom shall revelation and knowledge now i am speaking this morning on what i've captured the power of understanding for understanding life Behind every outstanding life is understanding. You cannot live greater. You cannot live bigger. You cannot be more successful than your understanding. It is not enough to go to school. It is not enough to know how to speak good English. Behind every outstanding life is understanding. That is your reaction shows how deep understanding you have. The Bible was speaking. They say, He that wanders away from the path of understanding shall dwell in the congregation of the dead. Behind every man you see living well is understanding. It's not the devil. Behind every man that has an uncommon resort is understanding. It's not the devil. There is a kind of understanding that God expects of his own. The difference between one succeeding and failing is not the devil. It's understanding. Understanding will make you and help you to choose your friends well hello the cheapest way to reduce resolve is to move with wrong minds people everything you will ever become everything you are now is a product of understanding hello a man that is void of understanding will be afraid in the midst of trials. A wise man said, when you know what to do, you are never confused. You are relaxed. That is, I submit to you this morning that as a child of God, hunt for understanding. When you speak, I'll tell if you have understanding or not. When you react, I will tell if you have understanding or what. Talk to me. Or what? Or not. Today, your understanding is coming alive. Amen. Somebody shout understanding. Shout it louder. Shout it like a Christian here. Listen to this. I said it. I wrote it here. Let me read it to you. Every truth you truly discovered commit God to deliver for you I'm going to go deeper just follow me Satan's main target is to blind your mind from seeing the truth from God's word hello Satan main target Satan can allow you to buy a car Satan can allow you to build a house. Satan can allow you to get married. Satan can even allow you to travel abroad. What he targets is your mind. Do you know why? The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his world. So what? Not as he buys a car. Not as he travel abroad. Goats to travel abroad. 
that is the quality of your life is determined by your mind that is why jesus paul was speaking to the disciples and paul said let this mind be in you which was in our lord what jesus there was a mind they carried and what kind of mind the mind of rulership the mind of greatness the mind of excellence the mind of distinction the Lagos guys are not better off than you the difference is their mind somebody say mind you put two guys here same height same job but the difference what will make them a standing is their mind that is anything to build your mind is a wise investment i don't care how much you have if you don't upgrade your mind you still die a beggar people have seen billions today they are begging for 100 naira. there is a mind that should be in you not a rascal mind intelligent and sound mind believe in order believe in what order what kind of mind an orderly mind i make a decree here stretch your hand towards me there is a mind that is coming on you right now look up what kind of mind did jesus expect you to have look up that you do something and they are asking can we get the guy that did this job that's the kind of mind not the mind that you do something this what kind of stupid job is this a mind of excellence some are excellent shout it louder shouting like a christian jesus was excellent par excellent from his dressing to his conversation excellent the world is not bothered about what you have they are bothered about your effect that is the kind of mind you should have is a mind of excellent excellent in appearance excellent in communication excellent in resort oriented activities that's the kind of mind jesus expects you to have and now listen to this when you have that kind of mind when money enters your hand it shows when you have that kind of mind when a good relationship comes into your life it shows when you enter that when you have that kind of mind look up everyone when you are in position of power it shows am i speaking to somebody here yeah. that is your mind is your what the what of a man is not the clothes don't deceive yourself you can be expensive in outfit and be foolish in mind that is there should be a man shift from what you're hearing now the value of a man is determined by your mind you spend towards where your mind is rather than you spend towards where your mind is right this also done you spend in the proportion to the quality of your mind that's why you see somebody the person just made five thousand from work he said ah that stuff was see that plan go by him why because that has been his mind it has been there you want to live a quality life sir build your mind somebody say build your mind a church is not known for quality by the number of a crowd that are there is known by the quality of mind that goes there 
I vow to God. If you have a chicken mind, once you come around, you either upgrade or you exit. That should be your watch. Lions don't flock with goats. Goats are their prey. Eagles don't flock with vultures. Hallelujah. So much on my mind. Say it louder. When they come to your store, they should see excellent. They should see what? The design of this church we are going to build is already done. The next 30 years of this church is already marked out. Excellent mind. What is it about excellent mind? One, an excellent mind is a man that plan. An excellent mind is a mind that plan. Can I say something to you? If you have no plan, when you see money, you waste it. A man that has plan is a man that has the future. Somebody shall plan. Say it louder. You are not responding. Shout it louder. Plan. <laughs> Look up, everyone. Look up. If you are alive here, let me see end up. Let me show you. If any day pass without you inventing something to your life, an idea, a knowledge, something to look up to, you are, you are dead. The proof that you are alive is that you are creative. And creativity is a product of the mind. It's not a product of gossip, sir. Gossipers are dollars. No gossiper can be intelligent. That's why I frown at them. Can I say this to you? If you put me in a desert crowd, we gather. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you can't sit under me and your heart is genuinely open and not be creative and not be productive and not be successful. Stretch your hand towards me, child of God. Stretch it. Stretch it with your heart open. I invoke the two eagles' wings that is known for speed, that is known for power upon those two hands of yours, and you begin to have an amazing result from today. Amen. If you believe it, can you say louder amen? Yeah. If you believe it, can you amen be the loudest? Yeah. Now? Somebody shout my mind. Your mind. God didn't say as a man prayed. Can I say something to you? If you pray without engaging a creative mind, your prayer will still be foolishness. That's why they call them the barbarians. They pray without engaging their mind. Do you know why God gave you mind? So that you won't disturb him too much. Mind does not talk about heart. Mind is not what pump blood. Mind is this. Hello? Can I say something to you? There are two things that make rich men. No, let me use the word. Wealthy men in this world. Two things. Two force. Two force. Any man you see that has money is not a foolish man. If a foolish man has money, we still lose it. Am I talking to somebody here? A sound mind live in what we call progression. There are two forces that makes people in this life. Look at me. Follow me carefully. One is the force of sound mind. That talks about discretion, wisdom. Two, the force of power. The force of what? Say, say it louder. Look up. If you have money and you don't have covering, you are gone. That's why when the devil wants to strike a man, the first thing he does, he removes your covering. The devil is smart. The devil is master strategist. 
can I say this to you? Look at look at for distance. Anytime you are about to make money, or anytime you make money, don't joke with your covering. Because you can make the money and not live to eat the money. Your covering is your powerhouse. I'm, I'm telling you this. Let me say something to you. You will be made very soon. The kind of visitation that will hit you. You will know of a truth. God has visited you. If you are the one God is talking about, you say louder, amen, here. I say if you are the one God is talking about, you say louder, amen, here. That is, you must guide your mind. Now, quickly, what kind of mind does a great man possess? What kind of mind will a great man or a great man should possess? One, a always learning mind. He say a man of wisdom is strong, but a man of knowledge increases strength. The day you stop learning, you start dying. That is the kind of mind you should possess should be a mind that is ready to learn. And when you have the mind, look up, look at me everyone. When you have the mind to learn, you take instruction. Now look at me everyone, look at me everyone. The proof that a man is a fool is not demonstration of foolishness. Pastor. The proof that a man is a fool, when you correct that man, he turns back to fight you. Scripture said, correct a wise man. And we will yet be what? Wiser. That is, wise people appreciate correction. I'm going somewhere. The Bible says, open rebuke is better than secret love. That is, when you rebuke a wise man openly, he comes to you and appreciates you. That is, a sound mind is a wise mind. Hello? Look up, look at me everyone. Be far from a friend that does not encourage you to serve God. That is, if you are going to rise in this generation, you need the wisdom of God and the power of God. And how do you get these things? You get them in three major ways. One, it takes the humble to be imparted. The proud can carry it. Do you know why the Yoruba people are great? The Yoruba people are extreme humble people. Humility is the key to elevation. The Bible says God resists the proud and give it grace to what? The humble. You might be big. Bigger than your father. But it's still your father. That is you want to go up. Come down and go up. Can you see that if you want to jump up. You just stand like this. Can you go up? What do you do first? You come down and you go up. Every time you humble yourself. God naturally elevates you. Am I speaking to a church here? Humility might not be common in this part of the world, but that does not make it wrong. Praise the Lord. That is, you want to rise, be humble. Don't allow price scatter your life, lady. Nobody can correct you. Nobody can talk to you. You are granted. Because you see little money now does not mean that you that we can't billions. Am I talking to someone here? You can't billions. But it takes humility to attract it. Your father is never too small. He's your father. You will rise. 
I thought this amen will be stronger than that. That is, first of all, you have to be humble because God elevates humble people. Two, you have to associate with wise people. When God visits your neighborhood, celebrate with your neighbor because he's in your corner. Your home will be the next. Don't envy anybody. Am I speaking to somebody here? That's why the Bible says, He that moves with the wise shall be what? Am I talking? Shall be what? He now went further to say, The companion of fools shall be grossly destroyed. Association. They pay attention. To, can I say this to you? Some type of association? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me, everybody. Association is deliberate. Is what? Is what? Deliberate. It doesn't happen by mistake. Am I talking to someone here? That was how they released it. You are blessed. Have you learned something this morning? Have you learned something this morning? Always put a smile on your parents' face. Put a smile on your prophet's face. No witch can stop you. If, you. if you are not blessed, I'm not doing ministry. Anything you are doing, you must be better than your friends that are not here. I thought you said amen to that. In the church, if there is honor, the church will grow. You are blessed. Do you know that you can convert? There's a way you can turn somebody that is angry with you to bless you. Huh? You don't receive blessing by saying, I'm right, you know. Rise up on your feet. Hold your hands together, everybody. I want to receive, release fatherly blessing. Hold your hands together. Hold your hands together. Hold your hands together. Hold your hands. Are you holding it now? Hold it. I want to release fatherly blessing. Hold your hands. Lift it up. I make a decree. Lift it up very well. As one God said. In your generation. Your voice shall be heard. Please. I want your amen to be very loud. 